In this quick video, let's have a look how we can create this monolook color effect in a correct manner. As we want to recolor this image with blue, let's start by adding a fill layer from the layer menu. The last color I used was blue, so my fill layer is already filled with the color I want to use. If the fill layer is not the right color, make sure you change the color. Let's see what happens when we change the blend mode of our blue fill layer to color, which hopefully will result in the effect we are looking for. Well, not really. We do get a blue glow in the image, but not the solid fill look we are looking for. This is because the color blend mode does not affect the luminance, or in other words, areas with whites and blacks are not really colored. You could say that these areas have no color in them, so their color cannot be changed. The fix is quite simple, we are just going to add a gradient map below the fill layer. With the gradient map, we can modify the luminance values so that the color can be applied more strongly. You can start by making the first point black, the midpoint dark gray and the last point light gray. This will give you a good starting point. You can now adjust the positions and the gray values or even add additional points to get the look you're looking for. Pretty awesome. Let's look at another image and show you that you may not even need a fill layer. I have my fill layer already prepared and it is in color blend mode. When I enable it, we get a nice color effect but not what we are looking for. As showed in the previous example, the fix is by applying a gradient map below the fill. I have a preset I can apply and indeed that looks much better. But actually, we can skip the fill layer and use a gradient map adjustment only. Let me remove the top two layers and add a gradient map adjustment. I can now set the colors as needed. If I apply a very dark purple to start, a slight lighter dark purple and a mid purple, we get the look we are after. As just before, we can fine tune the gradient to our needs by modifying the positions adding additional points or changing the colors. And there you go. Even though this also works quite well, I prefer the fill method as it will be much easier to change the colors later. Hope you liked this short video. Thanks again for tuning in and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until the next video.